I don't want to get up. I know, it feels really good in the bed. I got up and took a shower and I thought, well, that's going to make the incentive. But no, <laughs> it was very easy to just get right back in bed and lay down. I'm not doing anything with my hair. I'm just letting it dry. It's going to be like a curly, curly crazy day. mess, but that's all right. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. What day is this? I know. 11, yesterday I it's think it was first. 12. It's October 1st. I think this is day 13. Oh, you're saying what day of the challenge? Yes. I it's weird when it goes across a month or two months. You yeah, know? so I believe it's day 13, because tomorrow would be 14, we start on Sunday, which would be 15. You didn't so. say good morning to Flip. Flip? Flip my flask. Oh, flip the flask. Flip the flask. Flip the flask. Yeah. I like that. Flip the flask. I know, because he flips up, and he goes everywhere with me, so I feel like I should talk to him, you know? I thought it would be funny if I took pictures of Flip. Of where he goes? If Flip, yeah, because he's a travel mug. Uh, right? Shouldn't he have a travel vlog of his own? I feel like Well, he he's should. a flask, really. He's an yeah. insulated flask is the technical term. Well, he's flipped the flask. They're selling out quick. If you're interested, uh, make sure you go down and use the link below to get it because they're selling out. And then we're going to have to order new ones, possibly. I don't know if we're going to even get the same colors. We may even choose different colors. It's kind of fun to, to have some new swag, especially going into... Mm -hmm you know, the holiday season. It's kind of a, just a fun thing to have on the desk. We were looking on their website. They also have insulated like travel coffee mugs, like stainless steel. Like, please do not use plastic travel coffee mugs. It's so bad for you. All of that plastic leaches into your coffee, into your water. It's just not good for you. Um, please use, whether you use something like the ones that we get our logo on or just go to the store and buy like a Contigo, don't use plastic ones use stainless steel ones it also helps me not burn myself that is your that is your warning information of the day the p the, the public, the, the service, public announce. service announcement right the psa so yeah they have some coffee insulated coffee mugs for on top of your desk with a lid and they also have the travel ones let us know down in the comment section if you would be interested in those and we might look into also getting some of those i'm always within arm's length of a of a beverage so it yeah. might as well be pretty it might as well right so yeah, it's day 13, we're in Orlando, we're waiting for Anthony to get up and we're gonna head home. It takes us about two hours and 45 minutes to get home. So it is Friday, the 13th day of the challenge. Oh. What are we gonna get into? This is Not perfect much. because October, the monthly challenges do it afraid. That's, that's, that's really our challenge good. this month is to not expect everything is going to subside and I'm not going to have any fears about stuff. Even if you're like interested in starting exercising, if you're going to go without sweeteners for a, a month, you know, if you're going to, you know, really be scrutinizing ingredients, maybe you're, you're like, we're not going out to eat this month. We're going to eat everything out of our freezer. Right. And I'm afraid we won't have fun family, <laughs> you know, dinners if we don't do that. So Whatever it is that, that you're doing afraid, this is a great month for it. Just do it afraid. So last night we closed out the vlog over there at the park. And by the time we got back here to the hotel, it was about one in the morning. The bus service, by the way, is really cool. That yeah, was, it is. That was a nice little feature we've never utilized before. Uh, but when we got back here, we were like, eh, kind of a little hungry. So we each had one of those sausages from Sam's Club. We had a couple of slices of those Maria Emmerich bread. They're like half slices. Which, again, a bunch of people were in the comment section like, where is your video on how to make that bread? It is not our recipe. Yeah, it's her recipe. It is Maria Emmerich's Wonder Bread, PSMF Wonder Bread, uh, only we're not adding allulose. The allulose just kind of softens up the crust a little bit. 
Um, so if you want to see that, there's a link for her video right up here, but it's not our recipe. So we're not gonna really make it. We made it a couple times on camera, like really quickly, but not going over everything. Why because the ingredients are. It's not fair to another content provider who is putting that recipe out for free. So go watch her video. She is a much better and smarter cook than I am She's, anyway. She and her children are also cuter than us. How anybody can come up with bread from nothing but egg whites is beyond me. Brilliant. And her pudding, both the one using egg whites as well as the one using whole eggs that are hard boiled, it's amazing that it actually tastes like chocolate pudding. Yeah. Oh, and we had an egg too. We had we each had a hard boiled egg. Yes, we did. So we did that. We went to bed. We woke up this morning, no alarm, which is, is not a normal thing for us. It, I I woke up with a confused look on my face, like, why didn't I hear you, alarm? You did wake up to an alarm at three o'clock in the morning with me screaming in agony. Oh, yeah. Because I guess I just didn't do enough electrolytes yesterday. I mean, we did a bunch of electrolytes. But we walked like 15 miles. We walked over 15 heat. miles. And we did not bring magnesium drops. The Keto Chow magnesium drops. We're going to learn. There's a link down below in the description. Well, because when you're used to like all encompassing everything and also not walking 15 miles. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning with such bad cramps. Yes. I could not it move my legs. I was like, oh my gosh. So as soon as I get home, I'm going to shoot those things on my mouth. And that's not going to be pleasant. But I need magnesium. Because I have yeah. a game tonight. Right. And uh, so, yeah. So we're going to get home. I think we're probably going to start off the day with, are you going to have a sausage? I'm definitely going to have a sausage and an egg and bread. Probably we're going to just play repeat yeah. on last night's meal. And well, we're going to have that. And then we're going to have ground beef at home. I'm going to stop at the store and we're going to get a bunch of ground beef. And I think we're just going to do ground beef. Maybe some eggs, cook everything on the Blackstone. I love nice and beef. simple day. Probably some bacon because like we're life 13, with bacon, very important. We're 13 days in and we have had no ground beef. We had a lot of hamburgers. But I, but not like in a ground beef setting. No. Well, that's we because... We should chop up some bacon in it. That's a good idea. Well, here's the thing about the ground beef. When I went to Sam's Club, it was literally cheaper to buy the patties, which are just ground beef than it was to buy the ground beef. They're fresh made patties, and all they're doing is like literally shop, uh, you know, like putting it into a patty style. Right. Was $3 and like 20 cents a pound for 90, 10, even though I wanted 85, 15. The 88, 12 was $4 and 10 cents a pound for ground beef. So Where why not buy the percentages? burgers? Who's like, no, not 90, 88. Right, so yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, Get home, we can, oh, you're gonna do Fearless Friday? Yes. Don't forget, Patreon and channel members, welcome to all of our new channel members. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for supporting us. We're excited to talk to you. Uh, so for certain levels of channel members and all of our Patreon members, tomorrow will be the Zoom call, the meeting, the meeting. The link for that is over on the Zoom post. Rachel's gonna write up Fearless Friday. We also have another video that we're gonna be posting early over there on the Patreon link. And now don't worry. We will never release a video that's not eventually available to everybody. Yeah. Just sometimes we're going to kind of give a pre-release right. to our uh, channel members as well as our Patreon Just members. Just to say thank you. Yeah, let you guys see like this is what's coming up also. Some of our videos now, we're putting little Easter egg videos up here and where there's going to be a video that pops up there and it's not yet available on our website. You know, maybe it's something that's going to come out in two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month. Could be coming out in three days. So but the only the way you know about it is by clicking on those links that are up there because, and we'll say it sometimes like, hey, this video is not available to anybody unless you watch up to this point. I like sometimes just going through the old ones because sometimes we'll, we will reference a recipe that we haven't made in a long time. Yep. And it's a good reminder. I was so excited that we ran into somebody last night yes. at a Halloween Horror Night, Steve. And um, he was saying, hey, we do Mitza all the time. Like, I just wanted to tell to you. We need to remake that video. We need to remake it, but it's just funny. Sometimes the golden oldies become, you know, something that you use all the time. So Aww. Rachel went to Wawa and she asked them for butter and she didn't realize their butter is butter with canola oil. They add canola oil so that it spreads it better. So we threw it out <laughs> and my baby wants butter. Oh, so you bought coffee. me some butter? It's like, are we not going to use butter? Exactly. So we just bought this. And oh. here's the cool part is, 
we don't have to refrigerate this because salted butter does not need to be kept in the refrigerator. But we do have a cooler so we can put it in that. Yeah, but it's better this way. Oh, that's, yeah. You don't you don't typically want to see your barista do that. But I don't have any knives, so now we'll you got it. a bunch of butter in there. Thank you. Here, take a taste. That's the real stuff. Breakfast the champion. It's raining again. Whoa, 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 why are we getting off? Do you have to pee again? No, I don't have to pee again. I'm not drinking zip fit, so like... This is a lot of water, water though. It, um, but no, I realized that we are gonna have ground beef today. Uh-huh. And I don't have any ground beef to frost it. <laughs> so we can't wish it to happen. So I'm gonna stop at Aldi real quick and grab some ground beef. It is one o'clock, so we'll be like five minutes from home, and then... I've got to edit the video. I'm really hoping we can get the video edited because I really want to get that video out for tonight, but I have to leave for my game at 5.30. So I got about four hours to edit the video and for us to eat. You can do it! Well, it looks like some of Caleb's car parts are here. At least they're not from my purchases. So for lunch, we're gonna make some bacon and ground beef. Go ahead and put everything on the Blackstone. We have two and a quarter pounds of ground beef here. We're not gonna eat it all at one time, but I'm just gonna cook it all up. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this Redmond organic garlic pepper across the whole thing. And then also some of the organic seasoned salt. Link for these are down below. And you get 15% off when you use the coupon code 2 Crazy Cheetos. So the ground beef is mostly cooked. We're gonna scramble in four eggs. you an egg. Well, thank you. You cooked all of the food and actually made the eggs also, but like I peeled the egg, so we're equal. We're equal. Okay. Uh, we're home. Yay, after a three hour drive. Yeah. We were doing really good until the end with the rain, so we hit a little bit of rain at the end. It looks like the rain's starting to clear up, which is good because I have a football game tonight. I don't feel like officiating in the rain again tonight. It may be a little mushy on the ground. Now we're on an AstroTurf field. Oh, nice. So I'll, I'll take that. We're at Lockhart Stadium. So we stopped at Aldi. I got like two packages of ground beef. It was $3 a pound. It's 80-20 ground beef. So perfect fat ratio. Um, each package was like two and a quarter to two and a half pounds. So I made the whole thing up. We're not going to eat the whole thing in one sitting, but we can have some more for later. I like knowing we have grab and go. So we have a little bit we can eat because, you know, it's only like 245. So we're going to want to eat probably a little bit later just because we're going to want to eat like maybe when I get home. Yeah. Uh, so what I did was I just ground, I burned, uh, I burned, I browned all of the ground beef on the Blackstone, cooked a few slices of bacon. I think we had like five slices of bacon. I just chopped it up, cooked all that up. Then I scrambled four eggs into the ground beef. Oh, how nice. So it's kind of like a ground beef scramble. And then we also have a hard boiled egg over on the side, which I'm gonna put a little bit of the butter mayo on. This is really nice. You don't even see the egg. Right. So if you have trouble eating scrambled eggs, but you wanna get them in your diet, or you're trying to hide some scrambled eggs right. in somebody else's plate, like this is a great way to do it. So, I wanted to mention how good I felt yesterday. Now, we wore out. Like, today, you know. I'm you feeling about, it. I'm feeling it a little bit. Not in a bad way, but 15 miles of walking. Like, I know that that happened. After Aww. driving three hours. So, like, your legs are cramped in the car. Then you do 15 hours of driving. And you're, like, you know, full on in entertainment mode from 8 a.m. until 1 a.m. the next morning. Well, here's the thing too. You have to like think about the adrenaline rush. 
Mm -hmm. getting on new rides that I'm tensed up with that on roller coasters. Mm -hmm. I'm tensed up thinking that somebody's going to jump scare me. Right. You may not be as afraid of the jump scares yourself, but you're looking out, you're on high alert for me. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there was a lot going on yesterday. I'm just glad we had the stamina to do it. Yeah. So when I think about, I see people say, well, I can't do this challenge, like the beef, butter, bacon, and egg, because, or I can't do this challenge because, or I don't think I can ever make it without giving up, you know, a sweetener. We can do whatever we put our mind to. I right. didn't think I could go this long without having a Zevia or a soda or, you know, a Stevia sweetened electrolyte drink, but I'm doing it. And we just did a nice little mini vacation with a non-keto person. With a non-keto person. On the and road. we were able to not only stick keto, but we were able to stick to nothing but beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And it's not that we're superhuman or something and, right. and we have so much resolve that it's not difficult for us too. It was very challenging. I mean, mm -hmm. the fact that we didn't have all of our normal stops for coffee drinks right. that I'm used to. The fact that we didn't have any Diet Coke or Coke Zero in the parks. I did not realize how much of that was just happening every single time we would go on vacation because I would get into a vacation mode right. and have things that I don't normally <laughs> drink all of the time. Mm -hmm. I missed Zip Fizz, you know, when I'm thinking to myself, I really want a little boost of energy going to the park all day. Right. I miss those things, but it was possible to do it without them. Yeah, and one thing that I'm learning is, is the longer we do this, I mean, this is what, day 13 now, the easier it is becoming. Were the mm -hmm. first two or three days really challenging? Yeah, they were. But like they say, that the longer you do something, it becomes a habit. Right. And it is. It's just becoming a habit. Like, hey, I don't need to go and run and grab some cheese. And I'm sure we're going to eat some cheese and stuff, but not right now. Right now, I'm enjoying eating this way. And once we push through the first couple of days that maybe you do get a headache because you're so used to so much coffee or you're so used to so much caffeine in a mm -hmm. diet soda. Once you push past that, it really is just dealing with the behavior thing. It's almost a case of you're not like having a physical withdrawal, but it's, it's like you're just bummed out because you're used to having it and reaching for it. Yeah. It's kind of like the two aspects of when you're trying to stop smoking. It's not just like you miss the nicotine, but you miss the movement right. of, of doing that. So right now I feel like we're still working out some muscle memory of this is what we would reach for, mm -hmm. you know, in certain circumstances. Well, we're going to finish eating. I'm going to finish editing that vlog. So hopefully I can finish it before we have to leave or I have to leave for my game, which is at 530. And then uh, we'll check on you guys probably when I get back from my game. Okay. You're wet. I am wet because three quarters of the way through the game, it started raining, which was a blessing and a curse at the same time. How See, was it a curse? Well, the first half of the game took as long as a lot of football games. Oh, wow. It took like an hour and a half. It, it was just super sloppy, sloppy football. But then it started raining. So now they had to stop passing and they started running the ball, which sped up the second half of the game. All right. But it was a cold rain. Ooh. It was just kind of drizzling. And then your son goes, at least it's not raining hard. At which point the skies opened up. The rain is coming this way. <laughs> And the temperature dropped like 15 degrees, like wow. in an instant. Is it fall outside? No, it, no, it warmed back up when the rain went away. But, I mean, it was like raining ice cubes. It oh was just like goodness. freezing cold rain. I'm sorry. So. I was sleeping. You were <laughs> Caleb and I started watching, um, well, we watched the episode of What If, mm -hmm. which is perplexing this week. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I found out that Netflix has Seinfeld now. I, I don't understand. We've seen every Seinfeld episode well, multiple times. He hasn't seen any of them. Can I tell you right now, though? So he, Watch to the end, but don't have them. Like, the season finale, or the, the series finale know, will ruin feel, the show. You feel very strongly about this. The series finale of Seinfeld is one of the worst series finales ever. Okay. So really, let us know down in the comment section. What did you think of the series finale of Seinfeld? I think it could have been better. Worst in the world? I don't, 
I don't know if I think worse. Than uh, they could have been a lot better. But um, but I love Seinfeld, and before now, Jerry Seinfeld has kept it in reruns because yeah. it makes a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So they must have signed some sort of big deal with Netflix for him to be willing to, you know, not sell it as a set, but instead have it be able to to be seen like this. So I'm really excited, and I I told him I said I think maybe we could, you know. Have our like this could be our new show that we sort of catch up on. That'll take forever. I know, and he was like, "Yeah," because you know he just he likes the the cute humor. It's, it's funny till you get to the series finale. Oh my okay, gosh. so okay, so what do you think? What is the best series finale you've ever seen, and what is the worst series finale? You've I ever know seen? you think the best one is Mash. Absolutely, Mash is the greatest series finale ever. That's why they never even play it. You never see the series finale of Mash. I don't know what I think is the best. I thought for a little bit the end of Sons of Anarchy was pretty I would awesome. rank that one up there as that Mash and Sons of Anarchy one and two, yeah. Yeah. I think I think that worst. the worst one I I'm not a big Sopranos. That like, that's up fan. there is one of the worst too. Let us know down in the got comment lazy. section. I thought it was like, you know, it, be yeah. decisive. Let us know for real. I, I think that the reason they ended Sopranos the way they ended it was because they thought, well, if we ended this way, we could bring it back at some point. I think if that's we exactly what they did with the Seinfeld one. <sighs> that they were letting them have an opportunity to come back. Um, but it's just like, I don't know. I didn't like, let us know down in the comment section. What was your favorite series finale ever? And what was show. your least favorite? Which, what do you think the worst? I'm curious what everyone's going to say. Yeah. So it's late. It's 10 o'clock. I'm a little hungry. Me too. You know, so I was thinking, I don't know. I was trying to go back and forth. Do I want to eat or do I want to just say we're done? But I think we have a little bit of ground beef left. There's probably about one pound of ground beef. So maybe, like maybe a hard boiled egg and a little bit of ground beef. Not yes. something too heavy. Only because I have morning games tomorrow, Ooh. so I gotta leave for the games. We gotta leave here at seven fifteen. So you okay. gotta start the vlog on your own. Okay. And then um, I'm not gonna be home till about two thirty or so. And with four games on the field, I kind of wanna. I'm not gonna want to eat during the games no. because then you're gonna get sick and stuff. And I don't want to go all day without. So you'll eating. think you'll have a breakfast. So, so no, I'm thinking like eat right now and then I'll be good. Okay. If I eat now, uh, that'll be more than enough to get me through the afternoon tomorrow. It's just, you know, but if I don't eat now, considering we ate at 2 o'clock, I'm going to kind of get that thing. So, you know, I wish I would have eaten. So do you want to eat something? Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to eat some ground beef and eggs. I'll put a picture of what we're going to eat in here. And then tomorrow, we're going to be back to our regular vlogs. we got to film Keto on the Couch tomorrow when I yeah. get home. We've got a, and then uh, Sunday... After church, we're headed to the Keys. I know, but before that, we have um, our Patreon and our Patreon Zoom. live stream. So um, I don't know if this is going to be up before or after the Patreon live stream. It may be up. It should be up before. I would it, think. It, it might be up before. It might be after. Depends on what time I get home from my game and stuff. So now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.